would I recommend that you buy this book? Um, maybe I just can't read. I don't know. You're just gonna have to ignore this fly because it's just, it's here. It's part of the video. Izo to welcome to my channel. To my channel this is baker like anita and today i have a cookbook review for you this is lorraine pascal's bake and i've had it for about a year now i think i got it on my last birthday or the previous year but i've had it for quite some time and i thought since i use some of the recipes in here um and there's reasons why i don't um, then I thought I should do a review of this book. So if you're interested in this video, please like it and comment down below what you think as I go along. And if anything comes to mind, you can ask me some questions or if there's anything that I leave behind about this book. Um, so yeah, let me just get started. So this, let me just start with the price. I don't know how much it was because it was a gift from my sister. Um, but if I do find it, oof, I don't want to look also because it was a gift, like that's weird. I'm sure you can get it on Yappy Chef um, or Take A Lot or even exclusive books, definitely exclusive books, you can find it. Anyway, so it says here it has 125 recipes. Um, so I'm just going to go through with you kind of the logic of the book. And some of the things that are included in this book that kind of stood out to me so how i understand it she has so oh i mean already you can just see by now man um so this is kind of the logic of the book here so she generally has um cookies and biscuits then she goes into brownies and tray bakes cupcakes muffins and mini cakes um so it's it's basically separated into the kind of baking um, things that you would normally do. So it starts off with cookies and biscuits. And she has quite a lot of, um, so she has obviously an introduction about her and what she's about. Um, right, so I think this is important also, this section here. She talks about baking for pleasure and writes a lot about it and baking with a twist and then she has bake like a pro so it feels also like the whole book kind of is separated or has recipes that talk to those different kinds of bakers and I think that um, in each of the sections she has recipes for pleasure uh, with a twist and for baking like a pro so even in the biscuit section which is the first one so it's cookies and biscuits right oh you can't see that but yeah that's the section over there cookies and biscuits I feel like she has so these are definitely biscuits this is the first recipe that I tried out from this book because it was actually the easiest um, and then she has different kinds uh, of biscuits so it's generally like a picture and a long kind of description and then um, there's also this section here which has cupcakes muffins and uh, mini cakes so it almost feels like the level of intensity kind of increases as the book goes along um, but at the same time, she d is able to mix in each of the sections like an, an easy biscuit recipe, one that has a twist and one that is almost uh, for pro bakers. So in all of the sections, that's almost how it reads to me, which is which is great. If you've been doing um, kind of a lot of tray bakes or brownies, then you can kind of look to each of the sections to see how you can challenge yourself. So that's the whole book in terms of the lay more on the layout so at the end here so she has all of these um so like i said she has cookies and biscuits then brownies and tray bakes cupcakes muffins and mini cakes 
then she has a whole section on breads then it's pies and tarts then another section just on cakes and then desserts and patisserie and then specialist bakes and then she has a section on celebration i want to go to that one because that kind of excited me a bit right so this is more like something that would speak more to me because i bake like occasion cakes so this is a good section to look at like for inspiration this lavender amber cake is really beautiful so it's really great if you want to challenge yourself also as a baker but at the same time you can find very useful recipes here if you're just starting out right so that's it on the cakes this last section here has been the most useful for me honestly this one on basics right so in this section she basically speaks about um just basic recipes that you're going to probably be using in your everyday baking so for example there's a recipe on buttercream the different kinds of buttercream there's a recipe on swiss meringue there is a lemon curd recipe there are different pastry recipes a chocolate puff pastry um which is really useful kind of so this is basically what i'm saying is this is the section right at the end of the book that i use the most um and in a, most of the book she refers to this section a lot to say if you are kind of decorating a cake then refer to whatever this uh, special buttercream recipe so and what i like most she shares like her techniques so this one is specifically about tempering chocolates which is something that i appreciate as someone who's not um like a professional um what do you call it a pastry chef um so she um obviously knows a lot about this as someone who's doing this professionally now um and knows a lot about these kinds of things there's a puff pastry recipe a chocolate puff pastry look at that chocolate puff pastry also the quality of the pictures it's amazing right this is basically the lemon curd recipe that i use except that i changed it a little bit because of the fact that it had too much lemon in it and i think the corn flour i just reduced it a little bit because it was a little bit um runnier than i like my lemon curd i like it a little bit thicker so i did adjust it a little bit but this is basically where i took the lemon curd recipe from would i recommend that you buy this book um i feel quite a few ways about it um and so there's a few things that i would kind of let you know before you buy this book um the one thing is that this book is it's quite dense and this is generally how i feel about a lot of these kind of hardcover recipe books they are very useful because they have a wide range of recipes that you can tap into whenever you feel like baking something um so that is very useful to have quite an array but personally i find um books like this very overwhelming um especially because of the fact that I get the fact that you know this is your first book it's your only book you basically want to pour your heart out into it so people write a lot of their stories um, in here and say why they wrote this book and what led them to this point point. Um, and for each recipe they kind of write the inspiration behind it or what or where they saw it and why they're recreating it that adds pages you know what I'm saying like that adds a lot of density to the book which makes it like this so that's one thing for me it's quite dense um i like just small recipes that you can like use um but th that's fine the quality of the recipes though it's really amazing and it forces you to kind of push yourself especially for someone like me who's not a professional um qualified uh what is it pastry chef that knows everything and all of the science behind baking i've just been learning from the internet and my mom basically so this is really good if you want to learn more about techniques um especially with tempering chocolate and different kinds of buttercream so it's really good baking in general and another plus for me is that it's specifically a book about baking cakes like a lot of the recipe books that i see um are chefs who generally mix a lot of their kind of the 
what do you call savory and sweet and it's not really dedicated to baking and it won't have like a swiss meringue buttercream recipe or a special like lemon curd so i like that it's dedicated especially to baking so the sis has some very expensive ingredients in this book like a lot of the recipes i usually want to do and then i look at <clears throat> i look at the ingredients and then i see you to know i can't afford pistachios it's like probably middle of the month and you wanted me to buy one ingredient that costs 105 rand for indo ingaga i'm not doing that so maybe also because i'm a cheapskate then a lot of the recipes i don't get to do but generally baking is very expensive um so i do get that and obviously it's not her fault she doesn't control the market one thing that i didn't quite enjoy about this is the fact that it's a lot of text right so i get the fact that basically on each of the pages or each of the recipes has a dedicate you're this fly each of the recipes has a dedicated um picture but i am a very visual learner and what i would appreciate um, from a book like this you guys are just gonna have to wow this fly is Anyway, so I'm a visual learner and I, you're just gonna have to ignore this fly because it's just, it's here, it's part of the video. Easy to welcome to my channel. The, it's very dense, um, but what makes it quite difficult to engage with is the fact that it's a lot of text for me and I would have appreciated in some of the recipes, especially the ones that are more difficult, to have a step-by-step -step guide of what is happening so for each of the steps have an image representing what it means so there's sometimes there's quite a few new words that are introduced here for example the term slacking when she speaks about um, the process uh, of making lemon curd when you're mixing the corn flour with a little bit of milk just to make it silky and smooth so that it integrates better with the other ingredients i would have appreciated a picture showing that right so i'm more of a visual learner so seeing a step seeing a picture of each of the steps along the process helps me to see that i'm on the right track something that i've experienced today in the recipe that i was making actually from here maybe i should just go to it it's this one so this Fantan. So this is one of those recipes that f are quite long and quite complicated. So it goes over two pages. I felt that because this is a, it's it's basically bread dough that you're making here. Um, the instructions are a bit uh, disjointed on some of the stages because it feels like for me one of the things is that I would like something. If you're saying that you can make this recipe by hand or with the mixer, then the logic of the recipe should follow that so if you're mixing by hand then this is how you go about it but if you're using a mixer this is, and when you mix those two at the same time it kind of gets confusing but as i said this is just me because of the way that i learn and the way that i read and understand instructions i'm more of a visual person so like i said if they were just um, pictures to show along the way what should be happening then i probably would have understood it better maybe i just can't read i don't know but all around, I really, really um, enjoy this book. The Just the caliber of the recipes that she has in here. Um, and I really enjoy her story as someone who um, is obviously, it's a black woman, like the, um, and I really just appreciate seeing more uh, black women um, in our, on our bookshelves, on obviously just representation in general, but, for me, this is not just about representation. She's a really talented uh, chef, and I really appreciate the fact that she did this book. If uh, someone else is looking to buy this book, um, so like I said, it's purely because um, there's really great variety. I like the logic of the book. I appreciate the basics that are at the end of the book that you can apply across um, you know for your even your own recipes um the only thing is the the 
kind of instructions that were given um, because they weren't step-by-step -step visuals but also this m this book might be directed more to people who are in the field and know a lot about baking so would understand the processes anyway but otherwise um, I really yeah I like this if I had to rate this book I would give it a solid 8 out of 10 um, also because actually the quality of the actual book and the the photography is really really great so please let me know if you would like me to do more of these kinds of recipes of any of the things that i said resonated with you if you struggle to read or use recipe books um yeah to read recipe books actually that's it's it's literally a thing because i know a lot of people just don't bake because of the way that instructions are written and a lot is lost kind of like in the process and a lot of people end up not baking so anyway i've been talking a whole lot it's been a whole 16 minutes just going off about this one book thank you so much for watching till the end bye